Kia ora folks, I just want to talk a little bit about graphing and discussing relationships between variables and particularly in with regard to physics 2.1 and 3.1 investigations where we look at non-linear relationships. So I suppose the first the first graph that we could look at, if we're plotting, say, for instance, uh, I took two variables, say I called them A and B, and I I plotted the uh, plotted those two variables, and I uh, and the the graph looked like this. It was it swung up quite steeply, started off a little bit flat, and I got some of those points, and I saw uh, a, a, a graph going up like that. Now, what I could um, uh, I suppose understand from those two variables or to, to 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 determine a relationship between A and B is that A is proportional to B squared because this is a square a squared looking graph this is basically half a parabola so very similar to a y equals x squared graph so A is proportional to B squared and if I was to confirm that graph and what we call and uh, what we call transforming this graph, we would square B. So there's the transforming graph, and of course we get a straight line. And of course the slope of that straight line is the gradient. We call this we might call this M, and therefore. A equals M B squared. Now, another example, another uh, uh, a type of uh, relationship that we might see. Now, if we say we took the same data from A and B, but we plotted B on this axis, on the y axis, and A on this axis, using the same data, we would get a similar looking graph, but it would be on its side. So we call this a square root graph. And this is a square root relationship. Same plots, but if you can see closely that if I was to uh, bring that A axis up and swing that down, that B, this is actually the same graph as that, except that, that the, uh, the axis has just been pulled down. So here we've got the relationship between B is proportional to the square root of A. And then if I transform this graph, B against the square root of A, again, I'd get the straight line, plotting those points there. Um, and then the relationship between uh, B would equal m versus the square root of a, rise over run being the m. Um, that, that gradient there is actually different from that, but I won't go into that. So I suppose the key issue here is that if you are given a, a theoretical um, a equation, so say you were given a is equal to half a b, uh, or b squared. So say, say this was the relationship that you were given, and if I plotted a versus b squared, then the gradient is going to equal half a. So the gradient will equal half a. It's this part here which will be the, the slope, the rise over the run of that slope. Okay, so I, I just have to make uh, just make that clear. It is uh, usually what happens with the, the the rule that I sort of teach is that the variable that has been manipulated, so that is, let's say it's got a constant or it's squared, that usually goes on the horizontal axis, and the subject of that goes on this axis. But you don't have to do that. It just sometimes helps when you're calculating the gradient there if you know the theoretical value. Years before NCA, I never used to teach that. I always would teach the putting the independent variable down on the bottom axis and the dependent variable on that, on that axis. 
But in these sorts of situations, when we have the theoretical uh, equation, then uh, we can do either or. Hope that helps. The other, um, the other uh, types of uh, 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 relationships that we can get uh, is this. And here the graph drops down like that. It basically drops and flattens. And here, say this was A, this was B. And this is what we call an inverse relationship. And here A is proportional to 1 over B. And what this, what this basically means is A uh, increases, B does the opposite, it goes down. And if B increases, A goes down. So it's, they're basically uh, in, in, inversely proportional to one another. And if I was to transform that graph and confirm that relationship, I would put A versus 1 over B. Uh, and then the, the, last, uh, the last type of graph, uh, sometimes if you plotted this, you'd get a much steeper dropping down very steeply and then flattening off. And if you get a graph that looks like this, then of course the relationship between A and B must be the inverse of the square as we get a, a steeper drop here. If I was to transform that graph, of course, it's A over 1 over B squared. So I suppose the difference between the inverse and the inverse square graph is that this, this, uh, the steepness of the curve is much more extreme than just the normal inverse relationship. So I hope that helps.